एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पेस्ट्री इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट शॉर्टकट पेस्ट्रीज वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट पाई एंड टार्ट डोज वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट शू पेस्ट्रीज इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट लैमिनेटेड पेस्ट्री वी विल डिस्कस पफ पेस्ट्री वी विल डिस्कस वेरियस फोल्ड वी विल डिस्कस ऑल द मेथड यूज इन लैमिनेटिंग पेस्ट्री सो लेट्स स्टार्ट laminated pastry this is one of the most difficult product to make in a bakery a laminated dough consists of alternative layers of puff margin butter lard or even oil and a soft pliable dough this is done by rolling the dough into thin rectangles then folding it several times after encasing fat by it A laminated pastry can be made from both fermented and flat dough. No raising agent is used for making most of the laminated pastries except roll in yeast dough. The product are like of croissant and danish. Laminated dough get its name from how it is made. Laminating dough refer to process of folding butter into dough multiple times to create very thin alternative layer of butter and dough and how the laminated pastry is aerated as you can see in the figure there are two dough in which the fat is inserted this is all about a laminating we laminate a fat into a thin layer of dough sheets this is how it is aerated fat is melted and steam wants to escape hence it is pushing up the layer which is upper to it to do the so that's why that is how the layers are been created in a puff pastry types of laminated pastry there are various types of laminated laminated pastries which are mentioned below like puff pastry inverted puff pastry roll in yeast dough filo pastry or strudel dough puff pastry was invented in about 1645 by a french pastry cook apprentice named claudius gelet also known as lorrain at the end of his apprenticeship claudius wanted to bake a delicious loaf of bread for his sick father who was prescribed a diet consisting of water flour and butter claudius prepared a dough packing the butter into it and kneading the dough out on the table folding it and repeating the process 10 time after which he molded the dough into a loaf the pastry cook who had watched the procedure advised claudius against baking the loaf as he thought the butter would run out of it nevertheless the loaf was put in the oven and as the loaf baked both the pastry cook and claudius were more and more surprised at the shape and the usually unusual size it attains having finished his apprenticeship claudius left for paris where he found work at Rasabua Patisserie Here he completed his invention which won the shop an enormous fortune and name Claudius later went to Florence where he worked in brother Mosak's pastry shop The brother Mosak reaped the honor of having invented the puff pastry although Claudius kept his secret to himself and always prepared his pastries in a locked room claudius died in 1682 a highly regarded artist he was after this the modernization of paste was done by the master chef a french master chef premi and today we are using the same recipe which has been created and modernized by chef creme who was a master chef of that time there are
the basic ingredients of laminated pastry the first ingredient is all purpose flour the all purpose flour is used because it makes the dough become easier to work because of its protein content which is 10 to 12% which helps to roll out easier and the gluten strength or structure which is required is basically presented in all purpose flour due to the gluten quantity which is available in that right we have second ingredient like oil and fat in earlier days lard was also used as a as a fat which uh, been used for making this laminated pastry but now a days most of the patisserie are using pastry margarine or butter only burosec is a dry butter this refers to the amount of fat and water normally butter contains 80% of butter fat and 19% of butter but for the dry butter has only 12 to 14% of water how it is done a uh, little bit of refined flour is been added to this uh, butter so that the uh, water content can be lower down puff pastry margarine has high melting point and firm waxy consistency it is perfect for flaky and light pastry but it tends to leave an unpleasant waxy feelings in the mouth uh, when your product is little older uh, in the uh, story lard and animal fat is also used due to its high melting point in earlier days salt it helps in strengthening the gluten in the dough acids like citric acid lemon juice diluted acetic acid like vinegar and cream of tart can be used to increase the ph value of your dough in order to strengthen the, the the gluten strength moisture generally water is been used as a moistening agent but somehow in some of the laminated pastries we also used milk and egg which also gives a enriching uh, quality a nutritive quality to the product but uh, we generally use water as a moisturizing agent uh, which can be like 50 to 55% of your quantity to the flour puff pastry this type of laminated pastry is most common of its category made from soft smooth non fermented dough and it consists of thousand layers as it made up of many layers of fat alternated between layer of dough they have been classified into various categories based on amount of fat that is incorporated by a laminated process the first one be like rough puff in this paste, uh, puff pastry we use below 50% of fat of the weight of the flour like if we are using a uh, 1000 uh, gram of flour we will use uh, below 50% of your fat to this like it can be like 40% it can be like 45 45% but below uh, your uh, 50% flaky pastry in which we use 50 to 75% of fat of the weight of your flour like if you are using 1000 gram of flour you can use 500 gram of uh, fat or 600 gram of fat or 7500 uh, 7500 gram of flour or 750 gram of flour as per your choice full puff in this pastry we use 100% of fat to the weight of flour like if we are using 1000 gram of refined flour or all purpose flour you will use 1000 gram of fat to this full puff pastry quality let us discuss the puff pastry in brief this is the basic recipe of your uh, puff pastry in which there are the ingredients which are mentioned and the ingredients which are shown in the pictures are the basic ingredients which have been used for making your puff pastry there is water butter flour and salt these are the four ingredients which have been used for making your puff pastry and the optional ingredients are like lemon juice cream of tart or vinegar 
the baking temperature will be 200 degrees celsius for 25 minutes if we are, our product is like patties and all puff pastry are divided into various methods also there are three basic puff pastry making methods based on folding and fat incision methods the first one is french method in this 100% of fat is weighed to the flour which is full puff english method is used for the flaky puff and scotch method is used for the rough puff in which we have different folds and uh, folding techniques puff pastry in french method the main feature of french method is that a square layer of fat a bureau sack is wrapped in the basic dough we have discussed what is bureau sack bureau sack is uh, basically a butter which is uh, lower in moisture or water for this uh, make the dough and rest it for a few minutes then give two deep incision like the picture then roll the dough from four cut corners to get star shaped dough with four flaps like the picture the thickness of flap should be one fourth of the thickness of the middle part of the dough place all the fat at the middle of the dough and envelop the fat completely with the flaps then like english method only we need to give six half turns but here the folding should be book fold or four fold turns where the two ends meet at the center and then again fold over once here we get above thousand layers puff pastry english method firstly a clear dough has to be made and then rest for a short while to mature the gluten strands 10% of fat from the total fat to be used for lamination can be added to the dough to get a shortened crisp effect on a finished product then we need to knead the fat to give it a homogeneous pileable texture and have to divide that into three equal portions next step is to roll the dough into a rectangle of 1 inch thickness and apply one portion of fat to two third portion of the rectangle then untreated one third part has to be folded over to cover half of the fat treated area and then the remaining fat treated one third portion to be folded to get rectangle of small size this folding procedure is known as half turn after few minutes of resting preferably in refrigerator the pastry again need to roll to a rectangle of 1 to 1/2 inches thickness and again to be folded following the same manner but without applying fat this time hence we will complete another half turn these two half turn will complete one full turn in english method total three full turns or six half turns has to be given to dough among which three half turns to be given with fat and three half turns to be given without fat half turn with fat and half turn without fat should be given alternatively in this method we will get a dough with 700 and above layers puff pastry scotch method this is the method which is widely used commercially to prepare a very flaky type of puff with uneven texture which is also known as rough puff by few bakers this is a very simple method where we mix dices of puff margarine with flour moisture egg and acid to make lumpy type of paste then it has to be rolled and folded like english method only while rolling the cubes of butter become rolled out in very thin flaky layer to give a laminated effect usually an extra half turn is given to puff pastry made by scotch method to allow the first half turn 
to act as a clearer turn. As a result, this pastry does not allow rise even and so is not suitable for products that must look exceptionally good. There are some faults which can be seen in uh, puff pastry by you know, due to uh, not a uh, quality of your uh, ingredients and along with the quantity which is not properly measured. Uh, first fault can be like shrinkage during baking. That means dough is not relaxed before baking. Uh, you should be very careful that you should give a proper rest to your dough while folding and before baking. So in between each fold, you have to give a proper rest and also take care that the temperature doesn't go up as it will lead the butter to flow out. Poor lifting or rising. It can lead to too little or too much of fat used or dough rolled out too thin or give too many turns or it can be like uh, due to oven too hot or too cold. So these are some of the reasons why a poor lifting is there. Uneven shape or irregular shapes. Improper rolling or procedure used can lead to this. Uneven distribution of fat before rolling can lead to this. Dough is not relaxed before baking and uneven heat in a one also lead to a uneven shape of irregular shapes. Fat turning during baking. Too much of fat used not enough turns given or even too cool. Oh, they, these all lead to a fat running during baking. Thank you very much. In our next uh, session, we will discuss about the reverse and inverted uh, puff pastry or laminated pastry. Thank you very much.